Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 19th, 20th, 21, and 22, Monday through Thursday. Now, this is a general reading. When I am reading for Monday through Thursday, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job, just deliver the message. Now, a couple of things. Please remember, if you like my readings, our, our readings, please remember to like, share, subscribe. It does get this out there. And it helps to, um, you know, bring more people to the to the um, videos. And then that in itself is very positive. So thank you. I do appreciate it. A couple of other things, or at least one other thing, is that any reversed cards to me has a little bit stronger energy. We have also entered into Taurus season. Happy birthday, Tauruses. I have posted the longer readings for Taurus season, so please take a look at that. Now... Why don't we begin our readings? Hello, my Aries, and welcome to Taurus season. Your, bir your birthday season is over, but new starts, new things are going to be happening with Taurus. So, um, one thing I didn't put on my um, introduction, and I'm trying to make sure, I hope I said it to all the signs, was before I started, before I even looked at my comments this morning, I got a very clear uh, message to pay attention to the numbers. And then um, I went on and my first comment was from Sir Serenity and it had these numbers. So I'm kind of like, there's some validation there, shout out. Um, so that card's there too, okay. Anyway, um, numbers have divine energy, divine meaning. A lot of times it is how our archangels angels are trying to communicate with us. So then as I'm doing this, because it's kind of weighing on my mind, it's like, oh, pay attention to the numbers. I better pay attention. I look down and I'm seeing that, you know, we have April, which is a four, and then we have all those twos coming. So there could be something happening. You may want to, if there's numbers that you see repeating themselves or just kind of connecting, take those numbers, put it in your browser, internet browser, and look them up. Okay? Okay. Angel numbers. There could be more than one definition, but there's a lot of, um, a lot of the same in looking them up also. Okay. Let's go on and see what we have for my Aries. This one's reversed. Here we go. Chariot, okay, seven, divine energy, divine number, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, I look at it as the divine umbrella, the thing is, you can only do so much, my Aries, and then you have to give it up, give it up to your higher power, your guardian angel, who they send, Archangel Metatron, who is believed to have been Enoch, Enoch before the flood, and, you know, and let just things happen. Sometimes you have to take a hands-off approach in order for things to move forward. Now, the chariot also, to me, means that things are going to happen faster than maybe you feel comfortable with. And, you know, it might be one of those things that you're like, oh, my goodness, oh my, and you want to take the reins or you want to take the wheel. Hands off. Hands off for now. Okay? Okay. Anyway, the chariot, Archangel Metatron. Determination and self-control, career advancement, I like that, acknowledgement of success by others. So sometimes it's best, you know, it's best not to, um, not to get your hands or your fingers in the, in the pudding or the pie, okay? Next card is Leap of Faith. Again, we have Archangel Metatron, so there is something big going on this week for you. Not this weekend, but for this week. Zero has... Zero has universal or God energy. Again, you have Archangel Metatron. This is believing in yourself, having faith. Again, too, there is some trust here. There is some trust in that higher power that you have done everything you can do, things moving for you. And, you know, and again, you know, this is one of those things, try, try, try. If you don't try, answer is always a no. If you do try, it could still be a no, but it could be a yes. 
but there is a lot of things and you're just put it out there and then just kind of hands off okay now believe in yourself listen to your heart do what gives you joy now this could be I mean this could be in any of those relationships I always talk about your work job career personal intimate interpersonal family or home there could also be a spiritual well there is definitely a very spiritual connection here too your last card here the sun oh this hasn't happened in a while okay so we have Metatron and we have Uriel now we have a one which is new beginnings we have a 10 you know 10 plus 9 so one and then zero which is God or universal energy nine has a completion energy to it okay it's kind of like this is what needs this is done it's done you may not necessarily see the fruits but it's already been decided and it is already done okay you may not see it yet but it's already decided it's already decided now you can add the one and the nine it comes back to that ten okay so there's a lot so pay attention to these numbers pay attention to these numbers now Archangel Uriel now Archangel Uriel shines the light on deception shines the light on the dark shines the light on secrets so things that maybe you've been you know kind of like in your gut you just knew you know Archangel Uriel kind of gives you that confirmation we'll say you know and not just give you the confirmation but will actually give you the proof with it okay so life is wonderful thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success none of the cards have had all three you know have three um, archangels like this none of the readings I've done today so we have 7019 we have 1907 so we've got a lot of this so pay attention to the energy so is this 701 I don't know 7019 but let's go on here and see one more card see what we have for my Aries the six of air now six is the number of man it's what you yourself have put your efforts into and you have helped to create air energy is our Gemini our Libra it's our Aquarius it's our thought processes it is our plans it's hearing news this is sailing from a darker place into the light it's leaving things behind it is moving forward so things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip now you know with this I mean we can go more into this but I do feel like a lot of this is very straightforward very much things are shifting for you my Aries and they are going into a much better place believe in yourself believe in your higher power guardian angel your archangels whoever that is believe have faith have trust and just kind of go with that flow go with the flow and remember there's things that you cannot control there are things we can't you can do your best and you know but there are things that we just can't control it's already done it's already been you know it's all it's already done the decision has already been made okay let's go on let's see what crystal or energy might be helpful for my Aries okay and this one is reversed turquoise I love turquoise I don't have it though leadership qualities clear communication prosperity and success so that would fit with that too if you have turquoise wear it carry it with you however put it at your bedside that's all good too and you know if you don't well that's you know that's okay I I haven't been able to see that in my little local shop but maybe maybe one day so this is interesting for you it's already done it's already been decided let it you know don't don't mess it up <laughs> as always my Aries I hope you enjoy the readings and you know remember the like share subscribe more importantly my Aries please know that you are truly loved stay shining and be blessed bye bye